Hello and welcome to Sunday School for the Youth for July 26th, 2020. Today we are looking at Acts chapter 9 verses 32 to 43. Today's passage turns back to Peter and his ministry. The next couple of chapters find Peter still healing around the area of Jerusalem, but also exploring what God has planned for him. Today's passage is pretty short, but Next week, we'll cover all of chapter 10, which is a huge enlightenment for Peter. In these few passages, we see Peter healing and bringing people to Christ through his act of healing. The first man is An Aeneas, a man who has been paralyzed and confined to bed for eight years. As in the other time he healed, someone who was lame, you know this is pretty significant. His legs would have been matchsticks and would have been very weak. Now everyone who has witnessed to this has turned to the Lord. And again, this is reminiscent of the healing that Jesus did back in Luke chapter 15, verses 17 through 26. Now at this time, Peter is in Lydda, which is a town about 25 miles northeast of Jerusalem not far from the city of Joppa, and that's where his next journey takes him to. And Joppa is on the Mediterranean coast. In Joppa is a young woman named Tabitha. Tabitha is a well-liked woman, and her good works and compassionate acts are important to the believers and to her community. After she dies, Peter is asked to come. His reputation as a, healing, as a healer has spread, and people are requesting him from all over the area. When Peter arrives, he is taken to where they have laid her, and the widows are weeping, and they're showing him everything that um, Tabitha has made, the tunics that she's made, the other clothing that she has made, and trying to impress upon him uh, how important Tabitha was to the community. Um, Peter sends everyone out of the room. He kneels down and he prays. Then he gets up and he tells Tabitha to get up. Like his previous act of healing, it is associated with conversion. Everybody is excited. Everybody has heard about this. Everybody knows who Tabitha is. They also know that Tabitha has died. So for her to come back to life really spreads a lot of um, enthusiasm and excitement and joy. So when all this comes about, of course, Peter, he never, he never says that he is the one that did the healing. His healing is always done in the name of Jesus. So for this fact, people are all coming to the Lord to be converted and to become Christians. So while Peter stays in Joppa, he resides with a certain man, a tanner named Simon. And for those who know, a tanner is somebody who takes the hides of animals and tans them into leather. The, the job of a tanner is considered unclean amongst the Jewish people. But Peter stays with him. And this fact that he stays with somebody who is unclean will be very significant when we get into chapter 10. So I hope that y'all have a blessed day and go ahead and read chapter 10. And if you have any questions before next Thursday about it, go ahead and email me and I will see if I can answer those questions. Until then, have a blessed day.